I am Iron Man. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Samlite Portable Multifunction 4-in-1 Powerful Searchlight and Portable Lantern with a USB charging station and mobile device charger. That's a pretty much a mouthful. Um, just having some fun there. And I'll tell you why I'm having some fun. Because when I first opened this up, it was a toy to me. And it felt like a toy. It, it weighed like a toy. But you know what? Until I actually started messing with it, um, I was very impressed. I'm very impressed with this lantern. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But before I do, I just want to go over some features and functions. There's a lot to cover here, uh, a lot of things, uh, whether you may think of them as gimmicks or not, but they're actually functional. Uh, but before I do, I just want to give a size comparison. Uh, I do this in almost all my reviews. I like to just make a size comparison so you get an idea of the actual size. Um, basically, what you have here is the lantern mode. Um, you can either use this handle. It has good feel to it. Even though it does feel plasticky, it does have good feel to it as far as weight goes. Or you can use the hanger, um, pretty good solid hanger doesn't doesn't bend there there's no give at all so it's pretty solid I'm not really sure how far it goes into here uh, as far as um, being able to hold it but I mean there's not much weight to this at all like I said it feels like a toy it looks like a toy it even smells like a toy quite honestly but um, you've also got this button here you twist it and you go into spotlight mode and that too also has good feel uh, here's the button to turn it on and hopefully I get a chance when it gets dark later on tonight to actually show you how far the spotlight goes and um, it, right now it is the farthest uh, projection as far as spotlight goes that I've actually tested thus far and I've tested a bunch of spotlights, I've tested a bunch of flashlights and it does go pretty far so hopefully I get a, an opportunity to show that to you but what I was showing you earlier you have this, uh, this little light here um, when I first saw it, I, I laughed. I, I admit I laughed because I thought it was a toy. You know, it felt like a toy. And until I actually started messing with the actual light, um, I wasn't very impressed. But, you know, as I thought about it, you know, military and law enforcement have been using red lights for years. And, and, and say you're in a situation where you don't want to be conspicuous, where you want to be low-key, you, you, you want to read something in the dark, but without actually having turned the, the bright light on. You know, this red light, it actually... That would serve its purpose. Now, as far as the, the flashing or the chaser, I'm not really sure what that function uh, would, would serve as, but I imagine it would be fun for a kid. Um, what you also have here is these four LEDs, and that gives you the battery strength. Obviously, this is fully charged. So take a look at this little LED. This little LED, unbelievably, uh, goes quite a way. Um, I was able to spot it in trees that I should not be able to spot a spotlight into um, as far as distance from my house, especially from an LED this small. And there are actually LEDs within that go around that could be controlled from these two buttons on top. One is full. It lights both sides. Apparently this is in half. As you can see, you can see maybe a little dark ridge here, and that's on both sides. Let me put this down. And that separates the two sides. And this illuminates both sides. And this illuminates only one half side. So you get a longer run time when you actually use this side. There's also a little cover. This is where you charge micro USB. And this is where you can actually install a USB plug to charge something and I will demonstrate that. Okay, so what I've done, I went ahead and installed a USB cable into the USB output on the lantern. I'll go ahead and plug this micro USB cable into my Nexus 10. And we have power. And that's something I'm just noticing is the battery strength. Apparently it illuminates whenever you connect a device to it. I don't know exactly how long it will charge or how much it will charge. I haven't done those tests yet. But just to have that feature, that's pretty neat in and of itself to be able to just charge off of it because most lanterns, um, they actually are just output only as far as your light goes. They don't actually give you a source of being able to power devices. And so that's a neat little feature. Uh, like I said, there's a lot to cover. This thing, it's, it, it almost seems gimmicky, but it has so much to it, so many features that I really enjoy and that are really useful and really functional. Really so before fun. I do an illumination comparison between this and a couple other lanterns that I do have, uh, one more thing I want to show you is this handle. It actually contains 
a hidden compartment. This cable comes with it. It's a micro USB cable. It's for charging um, both ways actually. You can actually charge it and you can charge from it as well. Um, getting the handle on, it, I've had trouble sometimes. Um, there have been, com been complaints. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, there have been complaints of it actually popping off whenever you, you manipulate the, the lantern or, or turn it. Um, I haven't had such issue, issues, not just yet anyway. But um, going back to the lamp, you have, again, the full bright, half bright. And I know you can't tell how bright it is, but I will show you in a moment. And when you press it, it actually has a couple modes. There you go. It has your high, and I just went to its medium or low. And then it's got a strobe. And if you don't like omnidirectional lighting on certain occasions, there you go. The light will be away from you or towards you, however you feel. And you have the same feature. Medium, strobe. So really neat. Um, I just can't say enough good things about this. Even though it's cheap plastic, I mean, it, like I said, it really feels like a toy. Um, it looks like a toy. The colors are uh, eccentric, so to speak. Um, but with that said, it's, it's really, a, really a good light. And you'll understand what I'm talking about in just a moment. Okay, so here I have its competitors, or at least for me. Um, the first one I ever received, as far as between these three, were the, was the Weatherite. Uh, when I first got it, I was actually pretty impressed with it. But it's got the old SMD LEDs where it shows the shadowing. Um, what I do like about this, about the SAM light, is that it's got this white covering here so it disperses the light better it's diffused it looks better it's 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 not as harsh to say as the BYB now the BYB was the second light when I was first got this I was very impressed with this but this one I was even more impressed but then I got this I didn't think I could actually get a brighter uh, lantern until I got this and I'm very impressed with this but the BYB it's got the Cobb LEDs the more new current Cobb technology which is extremely bright it doesn't have the weird shadowing that the the uh, the weather right does um, and this pretty much, I think it just improves on both of those. It's a combination of two. So um, without further ado, here we go. Okay, so just real quick, I just want to let you know that I'm in a basement. It is still daytime outside, or at least evening, um, but it is a dark basement other than these small windows here. Um, just want to give you an idea of the, uh, the, the depth of the darkness down here. Okay, this one is the Weatherite. It's uh, solar powered, dynamo powered, USB powered. Um, you can kind of get an idea of the brightness. And like I said, when I first got this, uh, I was fairly impressed with it. Okay, this right here is the BYB Cobb Lantern. It's got the uh, current Cobb technology, the newer LEDs. Um, as you can see, it's it's quite a bit brighter than the other one, and it doesn't have the uh, weird shadowing effects that the old SMD LEDs actually have. Um, and it's considerably brighter, especially for its size. It's very small in size. It's about the size, just a little bit bigger than a, a soft drink can. And of course, here's the Sam light. Um, I'm, I can, I'm just looking at the picture or the video and it's considerably brighter. And like I said, very, very pleased with this light. Um, the beam is no slouch either. I wish um, it would turn dark soon. That way I can show you the beam, how far it projects but uh, very bright. Like I said, again, this is a dark basement. I'll show you. As you see, um, still dark. Um, I'll go turn it on again. very bright okay the sun is just set and I'll try to see if I can get a pretty good beam going um, this is a tree that's pretty close obviously you can tell how intense the beam is from here uh, it's maybe about 25 yards uh, or so that tree over there that's easily 100 yards again easily 100 yards on that tree
about about 80 yards but um, you can see how intense this beam is uh, obviously it's not dark enough to see here the actual uh, beam on this tree in the far distance here but uh, just from the light intensity on the the things that are fairly close you can get an idea of how intense the beam is again very pleased with this very pleased with this so there you have it, a uh, brightness comparison between uh, my favorite two lanterns and this Sam light. Um, I still enjoy my, my BYB Cobb lantern, but it's, it's harsh. Um, it's, it's really hard to look at, uh, as opposed to this one. The light's diffused. It's really pleasurable to look at. Um, it's, it's a better light. Not only that, it's, it's brighter, as you saw from the comparison. You also have your beam, your projection, as you saw that it goes a quite a bit, uh, a good distance away. Um, one thing I also want to throw in there that it actually comes with is this little strap um, it goes around there I think it's kind of cumbersome actually um, I'd rather leave it off uh, but if you don't feel like carrying the handle if you just want to throw it around a shoulder if you're using this for camping um, be careful because it is cheap plastic obviously but you know that is a con of it but I'll tell you what this is a really good light as you can see it has a lot of features uh, a lot of good practical features things that are useful and um, it's, it's not really that much of a toy now that I really look at. I, I really see it as a source of light that I can really actually practically use. So um, hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you do, uh, smash that like button. Thanks.